Eyewitness Sports right now. The Yankees game tonight has been postponed. Not the top story you wanted, but that's the one we have. Five days into the Major League Baseball season, games are being postponed because of COVID-19 outbreaks among teams. It's been reported today that more than a dozen players and staff on the Miami Marlins have tested positive for the coronavirus, and that's related. The Marlins-Orioles game has been postponed tonight, with the Orioles expected to fly back to Baltimore. But here's the thing. The Yankees were scheduled to play the Phillies tonight, and they would have used the same locker room and, of course, dugout as the Marlins did this past weekend. So their game has now been postponed as well. No dates yet for the makeups. But games that are happening tonight, the Mets play at the Red Sox. Both teams are 1-2 and two to start the year. Former Cardinals pitcher Michael Waka makes his Mets debut on the mound tonight. It's the first of a four-game series, the first two games in Boston, the final two games in New York. And it's the only time that the teams are scheduled to play each other this season. First pitch tonight for Game 1, 735. And now we've seen the return of some professional sports and more are scheduled to return later this week with the NBA and then the NHL, believe it or not. But the question still remains, though, about when and how high school sports will return. New York State Public High School Athletic Association Executive Director Robert Zayas and Section 3 Executive Director John Rathbun say there are some ways that professional sports can advise the high school sport level. It's twofold. I think we as a high school athletic association can look at and watch what they're doing and say these are reasonable and then these are completely too outlandish for a high school to even consider. There are things, however, that we as high school athletic administrators and coaches can put into place by watching what they're doing. If you look at the Major League Baseball, the NBA, the NHL, you know, they're really, really going through the extremes more, more so than what we could ever do but they understand the importance of, you know, uh, of the safety of this whole situation. Both Zayas and Rathbun say professional athletes could be the role models for how high school students use social distancing and masks and all of that during games that they might play and also doing that to just get back to some games eventually. And right now, the current date for fall sports for high school is September 21st. The Vancouver Canucks held their first practice in the Edmonton bubble today, and today the team shared this photo of their locker room. The team says that all players were on the ice. Fifteen players, by the way, with the Canucks have played for the Comets at some point in their careers, including well-known names from this year, Justin Bailey, Jalen Chatfield, Zach McEwen, Brogan Rafferty, and Ole Levy. The NHL playoffs also feature five additional players who were Comets at one point on other teams. You could find those names on cnyhomepage.com. Games are set to start Saturday, and the Canucks play their first on Sunday. For now, that's all for sports. Be sure to check out cnyhomepage.com for all your top sports stories as we get back into everything. This is my Witness News after the break, so stay friendly and stay tuned.